everyone, this is Ross Ratty and welcome to my channel. Um, normally we talk about figs or fruits, different fruit trees I'm growing, but in this uh, episode I want to talk about tomatoes and um, I want to do a little bit of a taste test for you guys because I have a crazy abundance of different heirloom and hybrid tomatoes. Um, so let me show you guys the plants before we start tasting these real quick. Um, here's my little tomato patch. I have a couple more plants uh, on the other side of the yard, but uh, those are not doing nearly as well as these, and I think a lot of that is being attributed to the amount of heat that is against the house right here. You know, we have a very warm microclimate. It's also quite dry here, which really helps out with the flavor of tomatoes because the less water, the sweeter they are, the more flavorful they will become. And um, I've already harvested quite a few trusses of tomatoes off of these vines. Um, you can see here is green zebra. You know, we've harvested probably six or seven of these so far, and there's a lot more to go. Um, I've been finding, for the most part, with uh, you know indeterminate tomatoes, which all of these are, they just don't stop. Here is... Um, I believe this is Black Prince, and there's some in the back here. We've harvested about four or so off of this this vine, and it just gets less productive as you go up. I don't know why that is, but we've trained most of these vines as single stem plants. Um, the larger ones that you see here, you know, Mortgage Lifter, Striped German, um, these on the on the back here, those were started from seed indoors and planted out early in the year whereas the rest of these have been planted out uh, just from seed so we have super sweet 100 right here we have an Italian tomato that my friend Dom gave me I'm blanking on the name um, we have a hybrid tomato here called Clementine it uh, is sold by Johnny's and it has like a partner with it it's called Mountain Magic and Mountain Magic is behind it back here more shadier position here. We have Sun Gold, another cherry tomato. Uh, I don't know what this one is until it fruits, but this one we started from seed. And it, it took a little, you know, a little bit of time for it to come up, and we also have two more heirloom tomatoes in the back that uh, I'm not entirely sure what they are until they come up. But we do have quite a bit of abundance going on, and I'm really happy to see the tomato crops this year. I've been able to give away quite a bit to friends and family. And also do this really awesome taste test for you guys that let's start right now all right guys so there you go that's the uh, four heirlooms cut up again we have mortgage lifter here this is black prince this is striped German and this is green zebra and green zebra historically has been my favorite for the last few weeks never really had a green tomato it's quite good it has a really nice flavor to it um, you know it's got acidity it's got some weirdness in there I don't know exactly how to explain it other than the green tomatoes I guess are quite acidic so I'm really a fan of that um, I really like sweet things though but this green zebra has a really nice balance of acidity and, and sweet here is the striped German. Let's go with this. It's a very beautiful tomato, I have to say. It's really good. You know, almost all sweetness. Melt in your mouth texture where green zebra is a little bit more difficult to eat, I think. That one just melts right in your mouth. No acidity, nice ref refreshing tomato flavor. It's not gonna blow anybody's mind. You know, this isn't like the best tomato ever, but uh, no, it's pretty good. I'd say it's probably, on the tomato scale, it's probably a seven or an eight. Green zebra being um, maybe a nine. And we'll come back down here. 
Let's try Black Prince. Another beautiful tomato. And what's nice about these four tomatoes is that they're different colors. They're different styles of tomatoes. Just like with my figs, guys, the color directly translates to flavor. So we'll get into that more in a second here. But here is a black tomato. Really, really nice. But it's more mealy on the inside. More of like a store-bought tomato, how they're quite grainy in texture. But it's still really good. The flavor, in my mind, isn't that much better than the, uh, the mortgage lifter, the, or the striped German, though. Usually with the black tomatoes, like black rim, you have a nice smoky flavor that really adds some complexity. I'm not picking that up at all. So overall, really disappointed with Black Prince. Um, I probably won't be growing that one again because I know that Pink Brandywine and uh, Black Prince are just superior and better tomatoes. At least here, anyway. You know, they could that tomato could do much better for you somewhere else. And then lastly, guys, we have the Mortgage Lifter, which is a pink tomato, which is, I guess, historically my favorite type of tomato. These ones usually have a really interesting, sweeter flavor. Yeah, I'm picking that up. But still not a pink brandy one. I'd say this one's an eight. Green Zebra's a nine, and the other two are seven. It's quite a good tomato, but I don't think you can beat Pink Brandywine and uh, Black Rim. I just don't. Um, but yeah, so I would totally grow Green Zebra, guys, if I was going to choose from any of these tomatoes next year. Green Zebra would be the one. And the problem with it, though, is that it seems to split a little bit in the rain. So I've been picking these guys a little bit early. They'll get cracks in the skin, and then they split. Uh, but it seems very productive. You know, it's really putting out lots of tomatoes. And it seemed early. It was probably the earliest of the heirlooms that I've eaten. So really like this tomato, guys, and uh, hope you enjoyed the rest of them. Maybe I'll do another one when um, some of these other ones ripen in here that I haven't shown you guys. If you have a tomato variety that you want to recommend that I grow next year, let me know down in the comments. I would really like to grow Garden Peach, um, Black Cherry Tomato. Um, there's a few other heirlooms I think I'd rather, I definitely would want to grow. So maybe if you guys list it, whatever your favorite is, you can um, maybe persuade me even further to grow it next year. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Take care.